Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to sort a linked list in Python. So here is a simple linked list with three nodes in it. We have a pointer to our root node, node 5. Each node has a pointer to the next node, and it also has a piece of data. You'll note the last node does not have a next node. That's going to be none, because we do not have a next node. So our process for sorting the linked list what we're going to do is iterate through the linked list. We're going to add each node to a Python list. So we're going to have a Python list of nodes. And then we're going to sort the Python list in descending order. In other words, highest first. And lastly, we're going to iterate through that Python list again, and we're going to add each of those nodes to a new linked list. Now you'll recall that when we insert a new node to a linked list, we add it to the very beginning. So we'll start by adding the highest item to the linked list and then adding the descending items to the very beginning of the list. So when we're done, we'll have a fully sorted list in ascending order. So big O notation, iterating through the linked list once and adding each node to a Python list is going to cost us big O of n time because we're basically touching each piece of data once. To sort the Python list in descending order, well, the best we can do on a sort is big O of n log n, but that's really going to be handled by a Python library. And then number three, we're going to iterate through the Python list again. We're going to add each node to a new linked list, and that is going to cost us big O of n time. So this whole sort operation is going to cost us the worst of these three, which is big O of n log n, and that's the sort function. There's just no way to speed up a sort method beyond big O of n log n. Again, I don't recommend using a linked list data structure if you need to do regular sorting on it. There are much better data structures, including just a standard Python list, if you need to sort your data regularly. Uh, however, since I'm getting a lot of requests for, hey, how do you sort a linked list, I wanted to produce a video on that to show you how to do it. So here's the code. First, we're going to add to our linked list a add node function so that we can add a node Previously, we had this add function where we could pass in a parameter, which is a piece of data. Now I want to be able to pass in a node and add that onto the linked list. And it's going to add it just to the very beginning of the list. So we'll take the parameter we passed in, the node we passed in, and we'll set its next node to the root node. We'll set the root node to the new node, and then we'll increment the size by one. So basically, we're inserting this new node at the very beginning of the list. Now let's look at our sort function doesn't take any parameters. First we're going to check if the size is greater than 1. If the size is 1 or less, then there's nothing to sort, so we can just return. Then we'll create a new list. This is just going to be a regular Python list. We're going to iterate through the linked list. We're going to add all of the nodes to this new list, and then we're going to sort the list. So we'll set current to the root node. We'll append the root node to the new list. And then we'll use a while loop to iterate through our linked list using our current node, check if it has a next node. If it does, we're going to get that next node, we're going to append it to the new list. And when we're done with this while loop, we'll have appended all of the nodes in the linked list into this new list. Now this line is going to do all the sorting. This uses the Python sorted function, and we're going to assign the result to our new list. So we're going to pass in the new list, a lambda function which tells it what to sort on. We could sort on some kind of string representation of the node, or um, in this case I just decided to use get data. Since we have all integers, it'll sort them by integer. And then reverse equals true. So we want these in decreasing order for the list sort, because we're going to reverse them again when we put them back into the linked list. So again, the new list the sorted function call is going to give us back a sorted list in descending order by integer value of our current list of nodes. And then we're going to create a new linked list. We'll call it new LL. We're going to iterate through the nodes in this new list that we just sorted. And one by one, we're going to add them to our new linked list. And we're going to, to do that, we're going to use our add node function that we wrote up here. That way, instead of adding a new piece of data to the linked list, we're adding a node to the linked list. We can just pass the node in and append it to the list. 
And after we're done with that, we'll return the new linked list. And if the size of the linked list is 0 or 1, then we just return self. In other words, we don't do anything. So to call our sort function, it's important that we assign the result to a new variable name. In this case, I added a sort function here. We don't want to just do mylist.sort. What we have to do is mylist equals mylist.sort because there's a return from this, which is a new list, and we have to assign that to a variable. So we'll assign it to the same variable named mylist. But if we don't have this mylist equals in here, we're basically not going to save the result of our sort. So now I added some test code where we add five items, we print the size of the list, we print the list, and then we're going to sort it, and we're going to print the list again. So let's take a look at how that works. So size is 5, we print the list, we get 9, 8, 3, 9, 5, and then we sort, and then we print the list again, we get 3, 5, 8, 9, 9. So they're in sorted order now. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.